Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam coming back to you once again. And we're going to go into Inside Edition, where they have an interesting article. Uh, this is in the crime section. And I will list the article writer and all of the details in the description, as I always do. It says a dad did not want to pay his ex-wife over $100,000 in child support, so he faked his death. A Kentucky man confessed to faking his death so that he would not have to pay $100,000 in child support to his ex-wife. Jesse Kemp, age 39, managed to gain access to Hawaii death registry system, where in January of 2023, he created a case filed for his death, assigned that case to himself, and then certified that the case uh, using the credentials of a physician without the individual's knowledge or authorization according to a plea agreement obtained by Inside Edition Digital. As a result, he managed to avoid having to pay the amount that you see on the screen in child support payments to his ex-wife according to the agreement signed by Kip last week. Kip also gained illegal access to internal website runs Ryan, uh, ran by entities including the state of Arizona, the state of Vermont, Guest Tech Interactive Entertainment, and Milestone Inc., according to the court filings. Guest Tech and Milestone are vendors of a large hotel chains, but prosecutors noted that there is no evidence kept access to the personal information of any guests who stayed at the properties. A federal grand jury indicted Kep in November of 2023 on five counts of computer fraud, three counts of aggravated identity, excuse me, aggravated identity theft, and two counts of making false statements on an application in connection with federally insured financial institutions. He faced a potential sentence over 60 years in prison if convicted on all those charges, but as part of his deal, prosecutors recommending uh, are recommending he serve just five, seven years at the agreeing to plea to one count of computer fraud and one count of aggravated identity theft. Kept rearrangement is now set for later this week. He will also have to pay the amount that you see in restitution to the state of California, child support services for those missed support payments, as well as the second amount to Milestone and the third amount to Guest Tech for damages caused when he illegally accessed those corporate networks, according to the agreement. On top of that, the judge can oppose a fine up to Two hundred and fifty thousand for each of the two counts, according to the agreement. The exact details of Kip's alleged crimes are unknown, beyond the allegations that he attempted to sell stolen data from the website he illegally accessed, because many of the files saves, excuse me, filing saves remained under seal since the start of the case last year. Kip agreed to the deal just two weeks before the start of his federal jury trial in Kentucky. Inside Edition Digital reached out to Kip's lawyer, but he did not return a, you know, a, a response for the comment. Okay? Chose not to comment, so. Well, that's a, that's a hell of a lot to go through, just not to pay child support. I mean, given what you face, the potential of that actually being imposed on you at everything is said and done. You know, uh, I would have just paid the the first amount at the top. You know, I mean, I mean to, to go through those links and then on top of that to also put other people's. Uh, you know, personal information in jeopardy of being uh, possibly stolen and distributed. 
is very frightening indeed. I mean, who hasn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who hasn't checked their credit union, you know, just on, you know, just to be, you know, aware and update. And it's because of things like this, how he had the technical know-how and all of that. We probably will never know unless they, you know, tell us. But all in all, I'm glad that he got caught. I hope they impose something. I mean, for 60 years, you, you drop it down to seven years. That's crazy. Why would you? Uh, our justice system, what did you give up? You know, because I'm I'm thinking, Eva, what did you give up or what could you prove? Okay? Because it, it, it seems like it's a little circumstantial going on. You know? To just go, hey, we'll drop, you know, everything else off. We'll just give you seven years and impose a whole hell of fines on you and all of that. You know, you know, just ridiculous amount, not ridiculous amounts, but significant amounts of money that, you know, after he serves his time in jail, he would have to make that money and give that money back, you know, so it's kinda, I don't know, it's, it's a lot. Uh, it just seems like a weird agreement to me. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, as we always do. Um, thank you so much. If you stick around this long to the end of the video, uh, come chop it up with me in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. With that, I will get with you in the next one.